Hey everyone, this is Joey. Hi, this is Fred. We are Sinsanum and you're watching Loud TV. We've known each other since 2007, that's when we first met, and mm -hmm. then we toured together in 2008, so it's been uh, close to 10 years. We, we started to, well first, you know, you just like get to know each other a little bit, share a few drinks, talk, and then, and then one night one of us mentioned, you know, uh, uh, death metal and uh, the fact that, uh, you know, I, I don't know if he started and he said I love death metal or maybe I did, but basically we just like, the other said, yeah, me too. And uh, uh, death and black metal, you know, like all the extreme, you know, that people might know, because we we do uh, we were doing all the stuff at the time, and um, and so yeah, so that's how it started. We started to really, really uh, build upon this, uh, you know, this connection, and uh, just uh, the friendship started there. Uh, I had those songs, I wrote those songs a while ago. Uh, then I got Stefan from Loud Blast uh, involved in the project at the time. It was a project, like a whatever. I didn't know what it was going to be. And then, uh, sorry, I received a, a text from, uh, from Joey, a text message um, asking what I was up to. And uh, I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I'm actually working on those death metal songs right now. And I had to send them to him. And he was like, that's fucking cool. Uh, that's fucking cool. Who's playing drums? I said, well, no one. You know, dot, dot, dot. And, uh, and he was like, yeah, I mean, so that's, that was just as easy as. When we were talking about it, you can tell someone's generosity within their soul or what they're, what, you know, like when you start talking about certain records or a certain style of music, everyone knows this. You don't have to be a metalhead to know what I'm talking about. Or it could be any type of music. Like when you have a kinship, like you know exactly a certain fucking connection and that someone understands where your head's at and where their head's at. And like with this type of music, you know, you know I've talked, like you can fucking research fucking all my interviews from the very fucking first beginning since 1998, 1999, about my love for death metal. You can look at my, uh, you know, my love for black metal and wanting to always do a project. I've said it a, a, a million times before and I've sent a bunch of interviews, but it wasn't until me and Fred, you know, like we toured together a lot, you know, Slipknot and Dragon Force and you know, when we met, we, a lot of bands talk about, like, having, like, quote, side project mm -hmm. or whatever. And it usually never, like, you know, fall, it usually falls through. Generally. Not all the time, but with this one, this was a different type of kinship, especially with this type of music. Especially with the people that are involved. So, when we were talking and... Fred was talking about like the songs that he's written. What I wanted to do, and I had this name, and I had this fucking like vision in my mind, and he had it as well. It was just like it melded, and there's like when you find that shit, there's no denying it. We're not doing this just because like oh this would just be fun and be a side project. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like it's a, it's a it's a vision. There's a certain heartfelt like permeating like force that's within us that we have to fucking do so like with you know finding this you know certain type of fucking counterparts that we have within every member of the fucking band is why we have the band since Sam that we have now I grew up listening to um, you know these uh, these bands with like uh, that would put interludes in between song and I was not particularly uh, uh, understanding the lyrics at the time when I was young uh, my English was not as bad as it is right now no, I, I, I couldn't I didn't care about the lyrics much uh, but the, those interludes would create uh, a, a mood an atmosphere you know and that's something I, I did want to 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 have in my, in, uh, in my music as well in our music just uh, to have those 
introduction to songs but also like a, a, a sort of like a calm before the storm before it hits you in the face you know you have uh, and it sets the mood calms you down after one song and it, it makes the whole thing connected all together so yeah and, and I'm we're trying to take the, the people on the on the musical journey and kind of force them into uh, listening to the album from A to Z which is something that people do, do not do uh, these days, you know, with with uh, iTunes and whatnot, they just like they skip, and you know, everybody's like remote control, beep beep beep, next next next. Uh, we we you know we like albums that come you know on a whatever LP or a CD or whatever, but you listen to the whole thing, and that's you know that's what we're trying to do here as well. I mean, you can listen to all the songs separately if you like, if you want, you can put, but it's just like the the experience is just way better if you you know. It's literally a, it is like a, a soundtrack, it is a movie, it's a mental soundtrack, mm -hmm. you know, like, that's what, you know, if I can get anything out of, like, you know, the listener, or I hope that, you know, like, not just me, the whole band, when they listen to this and what we put into it, this is a lot of years in the making, this isn't just, like, something like, uh, I have an idea, and, like, you know, let's mm -hmm. just go do and fucking blast it out real quick and just put it out because the name's in the band that has nothing to do with it this has to do with a long long you know fucking fascination and obsession with you know black and death metal and the combination of the two mm -hmm. so like when we started making the music and writing the shit is when you know the interludes have to separate each song because you need to digest the whole thing. It's like you take a bite of something, and it's like almost it's almost like sushi. It's like the fucking it's the death it's the fucking black metal sushi. <laughs> you take one bite, and then you have to have like this bite. Yeah. Then you have to you know. So like that's the interludes are like d definitely like the the things that almost almost the pretty much they are the strings. They are the ties of the whole record. Even the songs are the songs. The interludes pretty much, you know, separate and let you get your breath before you get fucking pummeled again. And I, I, um, once I had all the interludes done, I sent it to the guys. Actually, I sent just one big file. Not, I didn't send them the the all the songs. I just said it was called instead of one file. Yeah. Because because yeah. I wanted them. I want. It was like a piece of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed them to tell me. Yeah, that's good. Or just I know you suck, but you know. They, First Sean was supposed to be there, that's the one I wanted because we toured together back in 2009. I thought his voice was amazing, so I wanted to work with him. And uh, I knew Attila, I knew him like personally, but uh, Joey actually brought his name on the Yeah, on the uh, table. you know, I didn't know, you know, I met Sean very briefly, uh, like when I was on tour with Slipknot. And I've been a big fan, of, like I always thought he's like probably one of the most fucking powerful death metal singers ever you know like him like the guy is fucking he's so forceful because he is a genuine person like his fucking voice is no bullshit and that like when you meet him like it's you know kind of polar opposite that's why he's such a fucking great vocalist is basically he's a Jekyll and Hyde now with Attila he is a fucking legend you know this is good you know and like he's probably my favorite black metal artist of all time so like when we were talking about the song the songs that we were creating together you know and fred is is the main songwriter you know but i was with him like the whole time you know you know when i, when I was doing drum tracks and we were creating songs we were mixing together coming up with names and coming up with the concept and all that stuff i'm like you know tilla is you know like pretty much the icing like literally the icing on the whole fucking demented cake <laughs> You know, and he fucking is. He is the fucking ghost, like that is, um, amongst the whole fucking project. It's it, he is he is literally haunting. I mean, he just spent a week at my house, man, and that guy is probably one of the most genuine and fucking convincing souls I've ever met in my fucking life. He's awesome. He's he is beyond clever, you know. So having him to be a part of like the the vocal concept of this is really what makes Insanum the project that it is.
There, there is no, there's no plans right now because you know, like I was saying before, we all have other bands. We all have duties, and and uh, it's Insanum is the the latest one. You know, as and as important as it is, we can't just go and just like, well, fuck you. Now I have this. You know, so we 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 have commitments, and so we need to. Uh, and it's and we don't wanna we don't wanna tour or do gigs. Uh, it's the six of us or nothing. There's no point going on stage just oh, Attila's not here, well fuck it, it doesn't no, matter. No, 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 that won't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. so it's it's us six or not. So it's, it's going to take time, people have to understand that, but they have to be, you know, they, that, that's it, that's the way it is. We can't, you know. Uh, so that that's how it's going to be, but that's something we want to do. Simple as that. Yeah, uh, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a band decision that's like a, you know, find counterparts and like, the, the, you know, the form of musicians like coming together. We knew this like when we were first starting, like you know, to record and, and like you know, getting together that we all had other responsibilities. But the thing is, with this band, that's what I want to drive home is it's not a side project. If it was a side project, we'd knock this out like in fucking three months, yeah. and then and we wouldn't be here probably. Yeah, we'd do like fires yeah. and no. You know. So we we'd knock it out quick. We'd go back to our bands and then fucking we'd wait till like the fucking next record. Like you know, like catch it or you don't. With this, this has to be a fucking full-on touring entity and a touring machine. It cannot just be something short-lived because otherwise, why would we, like, the emotions that have been put in this, like, that we've lived through our fucking whole lives as far as, like, the attraction to these fucking styles of music and not only the connections, but that we've felt between, like, each and every person that's been able to bring something to the table as far as the music is concerned why the fuck would we short change it with like a two-month tour and be done fuck that 